Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will see the folder structure and the control flow whenever you run npm run dev. So how this exactly works and how you are able to see that whole app code in our browser. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, first thing is whenever we run npm run dev, it directly go into the script and it will try to run your white configuration. The white configuration is already present over here. You can see white.config.js. This white.config.js has a server that is a default port with 3000. Whenever you use hyphen hyphen port, this 3000 port will be overridden with our specific custom port which we are giving in our package JSON. In my previous video I have explained whenever you want to change this white configuration with a port number something like this then our port will be running at 4500. As of now I am using a default port so I don't want to use this option. Now whenever this white config loads it will load all the required plugins for this. The plugins which are required is white plugin solid which are related to the solid plugins and all that plugins will be downloaded and if you want to see about the dev tools and its configurations and also if you want to see the plugins then you can go here with this HTTP URL. Now after loading this, this white what it will do is it will check the base path that means here is the base path it will check the base path of index.html what is the root path of index.html in the current file for example you have index.html over here whenever you give white config with this dev run then this will search for the index.html in the current folder and the current folder is solid tutorials inside this it will try to load this index.html whenever this index.html loads your div with an id of root will be loaded and then it will try to load a module which is from this jsx file so now it is trying to load a type of module and from this jsx file let me hit control and index.jsx you will be going into this jsx and this jsx will run your code and you will be getting the root element that is nothing but document.get element by id by the time it executes this command or the line the index.html with root id will already be loaded in your code so that's why you, are, you will be able to get that id and this id will become your root id it, and it will render your component which is given by solid.js as a default component and then it will mount onto this root so this is my jsx element which should be mounted on this div element so now this div element will be rendered with this app component onto this root so let me go into app component and this is a function of javascript and it is returning a jsx code so that is the reason you are able to see all the ui over here if you see this is my ui and what where it contains it contains everything in the source and if you see the assets you have a fav icon which is visible over here you are getting a header with all the styles and where these styles are coming these styles are coming from the module.css it is similar to react but we'll see about the module.css and how to use them in our upcoming videos now we have an image and we have a logo which is coming from this styles and where there is an anchor tag where you have href so this href helps us to move to the documents of this learn solid and if you see this logo you can go into your module css and you can see the logo over here they are animating this logo so now this is about your process of running and the control flow of your solid js for example if you don't find this root for example i am giving just root 1 root 1 is not an id which is existing here so if you go here and just reload this it is showing nothing and empty if you inspect this if you go to the console it is throwing an error root element not found did you forget to add it to your index.html so this is the same message which it is throwing that means if it is not able to find the root element then it will throw this particular error if everything is proper then it will load this app component now if you just reload this again now you got the solid.js application which is running let me inspect this so if you see this there is a root element and under this root element there is a class which has been added with app and underscore some random number so this random number is added just because we are using modules if you go into your app.jsx you have seen this app 
and this app class name is something related to your modules.css and this is the name for this name it will add a random number which is generated by solid and this will be treated as a class now there is one more difference also whenever we are using this in react we have used a class name but here we are using only class because I mentioned one point in my introduction video that is we are supporting only functional components we are not supporting any class components so there is no need of differentiating our class of a TypeScript compared to class of a CSS so that's why we are just using a class over here and this is about the setup and the control flow of your SolidJS in the upcoming videos we will see how to create our own functions and the components and how to embed them and how to use all the type of features which are provided by solid hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you